in the final. University of Victoria, Georgetown, Stanford B, British Columbia. Attention, go. And we have a start. Event number 15, women's collegiate lightweight prelims. Fraction strokes completed. Now the high, high rating strokes for 10 or 20 and then we'll shift to race pace. As the crew settle in, lane one, Stanford A is your leader. By four seats over the University of Victoria in lane two. Then lane three, Georgetown University. Lane four, the Stanford B boat. And lane five, UBC. So following the number of the lanes, is the positions as they stand as we approach the 500 meter mark. Stanford A boat now with a three seat advantage over University of Victoria. The bikes taking a 10 now, moving back in a closer position for that lead. But it's still Stanford A, your leader. University of Victoria in that second spot. Third, the Hoyas from Georgetown University. The fourth and fifth spot is pretty much dead even between Stanford B Boat and the University of British Columbia. That's the call at 500 meters. On the water of the Women's Collegiate Lightweight Prelim, this is an opportunity for lane assignments in subsequent weight races, event number 15, in lane number one, the lane assignment, Stanford University off on the early lead. In lane two, Victoria, University of Victoria. In lane three, Georgetown University. Stanford is pulling out of lane four. And in lane number five, University of British Columbia. Yes, it'll be interesting. I'm not entirely sure whether or not the uh, crew in lane one, Stanford University lightweights, is the same crew that performed so well in the California Cup earlier today. Um, if it is, they've, they're turning around for back-to-back -back races in fairly short order. We'll see how they do in this race. Well, in the early going, Charles, they certainly are doing rather well as they do have almost open water on the rest of the crews. They are in lane number one. And our order right now is in alignment with the lane assignment. Stanford one, Victoria two, Georgetown three, Stanford B boat in lane four, and the University of British Columbia in lane five. If this is the uh, first Stanford lightweight eight, then uh, as we heard earlier, they have uh, lost to Princeton this year so far, but have beaten Wisconsin. Uh, though Wisconsin and Princeton are the one of the two of the premier lightweight women's programs in the country. So uh, no disgrace to have lost to Princeton and a, and, a, and a good scalp to have had in beating Wisconsin lightweights. University of British Columbia moving up a bit on the outside, challenging the other Stanford crew. The, there really does seem to have developed some separation between Stanford Light, the Stanford A boat in lane one uh, and then back to the University of Victoria in lane two and then the separation back again to Georgetown, Stanford's B boat and the University of British Columbia. There are no boats qualifying out of this race but uh, what 
crews can do is earn themselves, in theory, a better lane in the final by their positions in this race. And right now, Stanford University is earning that position. Open water as they come through the Ingram Street Bridge, the unprotected area of our race course. Winds have uh, moved into a bit of a headwind now as they've ch uh, checked that uh, tailing wind and picked up just a bit. Victoria in second spot in the second lane, then go out st outside of the Stanford B boat, British Columbia and Georgetown trailing. As they come down past the 500 to go mark, Stanford's A boat is very much in control of this race. University of Victoria looking very well together, uh, putting in a bit of a challenge. Uh, but at this stage, it looks as though the Georgetown boat has started to maybe fall off the pace just a little bit. And uh, Stanford's B boat and the University of British Columbia uh, seem to be challenging for that third spot in the race at the moment. British Columbia has had a good uh, 300 meters, 500 meters. They've uh, closed some gap on the outside and appear to have maybe moved up into that third position. Stanford continues on the lead rather handily uh, with Victoria in lane two as they continue to stroke along open water back. Kind of interesting to watch British Columbia maneuver on the outside as they have gotten past the Stanford University boat with Georgetown uh, picking it up just a bit, although they are trailing. This is Stanford on the lead. Open water back to Victoria, University of Victoria. Then all the way to the outside to the University of British Columbia, the Stanford B boat. They are almost bow marker to bow marker. In fact, they are Georgetown trailing. So it'll be kind of fun to watch this race for third spot as the University of British Columbia has gotten a, nope, by golly, they're bow marker to bow marker still. On the uh, win, it appears to be Stanford University in first, Victoria in second. Interesting to watch. Outside is British Columbia, inside is Stanford. Stanford in the inside, and they've had the lead throughout, but the crew from British Columbia has certainly closed the gap. As they come down towards the finish line, it looks like maybe Stanford might be holding them off. But as Charles said earlier races, uh, it's a matter of who got their oars down in the very last stroke. So we'll let that go for the uh, final call. But it looks like Stanford may have uh, jumped back up there and gotten that third position. We'll wait. That's unofficial, of course, followed by the University of British Columbia. Those two crews putting on a nice show at the end with Georgetown University completing the race course in that final spot. Once again, unofficially, Stanford, Victoria, Sanford B boat, University of British Columbia and Georgetown. We now switch to novice races. Um, this is a combination of rowers who have uh, started rowing for the first time this academic year and freshmen who have rowed in junior programs previously but are in their first year at university. So some of these crews will be uh, quite experienced uh, depending on the number of freshmen they have in the boat and some of these crews will be very inexperienced and are still within their first six months of rowing. Three minutes to start, three minutes. Well, as you may have heard from the stake boats, they uh, have a few minutes before they get started here. And I would like to mention once again, the. Uh, beautiful photography that we have here at the San Diego Crew Classic put together by an outstanding crew of technicians and you have an opportunity to get a DVD of an individual race that you might have a personal interest in. Those DVDs are available about an hour after the finish of that particular race. Uh, they're available in the merchandise tents here at the San Diego Crew Classic. They're only $14.99 and a beautiful reminder of a nice day on San Diego's Mission Bay.